Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today's video is sponsored by Devoom. They went ahead and sent over three of their pixel art clocks for me to check out on the channel. These are all speakers. They're very cool, very customizable. They each have a 16 by 16 display on them, 256 LEDs on each of these that are fully customizable. You can literally draw absolutely anything you want on these but not only can you like draw stuff on these and have like whatever pixel art displayed on here these are actually very smart clocks that have an app and everything they can display notifications on your phone link up with a bunch of your apps and of course act as like a clock or whatever and an alarm as they do have speakers built into them this one in particular the tv max has a subwoofer and everything it's definitely one of the heavier items that we have here today but i'm excited to see how these sound and how they actually look like in person as this one's kind of like a retro style little tv or whatever then we have like this little square clock type looking device here called the timebox evo and finally we have one called the pixu which is i think similar to this one just at a much smaller size and probably a much smaller speaker system in here as well. With all that said, link in the description down below, of course, to where you can buy any of these pixel art clocks right here. And we should probably get these guys unboxed and take a look at what we're dealing with here. Take a look at these guys in person, because I feel like they're all gonna look pretty damn cool, especially like this retro style TV looking thing right here. All right, let's start with the smallest item here, the Timebox Evo. Which knife should we grab? Do any of the OG subscribers on this channel remember this red little knife right here? We used to use it all the time for the unboxing videos. And I've had some people mention this knife every now and again, like asking if I'd ever bring this little red knife back. And uh, here we are bringing it. But you can kind of see why I've stopped using it. It's a very bad knife. It's very dull and definitely needs to be sharpened up because it can't quite cut anything anymore. All right, little time box Evo here. So I'm guessing that will just pull out. Timebox Evo, I love their presentation. Very nice, very professional. It feels like you're getting a very high quality product here. And this thing has a little bit of weight to it as well. Ah, here it is. Okay, that's the back of it. So it is powered by micro USB, five volts, one amp, I believe it says there. And I'm guessing there'll be a little LED indicator light there. But essentially we just have like this 16 by 16, fully RGB, fully customizable display right here that we can do literally anything with. So I'm gonna just put that down right there. Let's see what else we get in the box. And they do give you a pretty nice custom Devoom micro USB cable here. I would have liked to have seen these be type C as I do try to praise companies for switching over to type C as that's what I'm trying to do with all my peripherals and all. I'm trying to use type C more and more. So I would have appreciated to see type C for this product, but perhaps the other ones might have type C. We will find out in a very short moment here but this does come with, of course, a user manual, it tells you what's included, tells you how to set these guys up. Moving on to the Pixu right here. Let's take a look at this guy. So I'm guessing they're all gonna kind of unbox in a similar way. Why is there like a power button right here? What is this? I don't know why it says power on at the top there. Maybe they want you to turn it on while it's still like in the packaging. I don't know. Ooh, so they give me, are these stickers? What are these? They gave me a burger, ice cream, there's like a poop emoji. There's like Santa Claus or something there. A bunch of stickers here for you in case you want some stickers. Nice. And then the product itself, which it almost looks like it's like inside of like a picture frame. Okay, so we have a button here. Um, where's the actual power button? Because that was advertised to be on top. Okay, so that's like on top here. Do we like press and whoa. These actually look cool. Let's do the old peel. Wow, all right. Yeah, like I was trying to say earlier, this basically looks like a picture frame, but with like a bunch of LEDs inside here. This is cool. Oh, you can literally, wow, you can literally hang this up as if it were an actual picture frame. This once again is powered by micro USB. And then right here, we also have a little kickstand that you take out like this and then you pop it down here. I think you have to like slide it in forward a little bit. Yeah, so you slide that there. And all of a sudden you have a kickstand for your LED clock. Look at this thing, man, sick. So we can put that guy there and we can also turn on this miniature one, right? If we press and hold the power button there, whoa. So it made a little sound there. Oh, look at this. It's like, show me the Bluetooth symbol. Yeah, these LEDs in here are way more dense and I like how they're also both telling a completely different time. So this came with a user manual as well and somewhere in here we should have a cable. Oh, there it is. Let's take a look at this cable. We're dealing with micro USB here again. Ooh braided micro usb this time slide upgrade over the non-braided cable this one's pretty lightweight too given that it's a much bigger cable by the looks of things cool man they give you a micro usb braided cable there okay now finally let's take a look at the tivo max right here 
see what this guy's all about. I'm guessing this is gonna be like their top range one, dude. That's gonna be sick. Like after seeing these two, I'm very excited to see how this one's gonna look like. Because they're very different products. And I like that, you know, they're different. Whoa, look at this. This is full on like a little retro TV. Oh, and it's like metal. This is why like it weighs so much. It's like the construction, the build quality of this thing is next level. Ooh, wow. Where's the power button for this? Damn, dude, like, okay, the speaker that they have inside here, surely packs a punch. I like how they've included little rubber feet here as well for this little TV looking thing. Oh, the power button's on the back. So I think I'm pressing it. Whoa, here we go, man. Once that turns on, let's do the old peel. Ooh, look at that. Okay, powered by Devoom. And if you pop this thing back, we have AUX, the actual power button there, a micro USB, as well as, I'm guessing a micro SD card slot. What? So let's pop that back in. Oh man, this is my kind of clock. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's showing the time, but it also has like RGB wave effects, just casually cycling through it. Whoa, I pressed. <gasps> oh man, these are cool. There's like a bunch of Christmas themed stuff. So this can of course play gifts and stuff. Like this is a very smart clock. Like the LEDs on here are very smart. And they have a whole community behind this stuff. So you can just download a bunch of like free to use pixel art that the community made. All right, the final peel here. Now out of like all of the clocks in front of me here, this one in particular, I feel like really stands out. It just looks so sick. Like this kind of has like a matte finish on the display almost. At least that's kind of how it looks like based on like the reflections and stuff of the, of the light. This one looks like it's kind of meant to be hung up on a wall or something, which it can be hung up on a wall if you want that. And look at this one, dude. Like, this is sick. I'm guessing this button here will allow us to also switch between a bunch of these. So we got Santa one, like what is that? And then like the normal clock face here. And this can do the same as well. So we can, oh, we can increase the volume with this button here. Uh, we have, oh, a 10 minute timer here and stuff. Okay, so I actually don't want a timer. Can I cancel this? So are these the different, okay, these are all the different screens on the tiny little display here. As this TV looking thing is by far their most expensive product, uh, they do throw in like a colossal amount of cards and stickers and all sorts of stuff that they give you. Like they give you this, that, three sets of stickers, a bunch of emojis, like all sorts of icons and stuff. Like these look so cool, especially this TV. I am just, oh, this is the Bluetooth button. By the way, have you noticed why I've like not plugged any of them in? Like they're all just running off battery power. So let's set all these in front of me here. Now in terms of like speaker wattage and how loud each one of these like speakers are, as they do all have speakers, this one here has a three watt speaker. The one in the middle here has a six watt and then the, the, the TV has like a 40 watt speaker with a subwoofer. So it'll probably sound pretty damn good. Not only that though, but this does also have a whopping 10,000 milliamp hour battery, whereas both of these have a 2,500 milliamp hour battery. All of them are of course charged by USB. Not only that, but let me quickly go over all of the functions that these LED clocks can do. So they can all record voice memos. You can do pixel creation, pixel animation. You can use them as daily planners. They can be used for sleep aid, a smart alarm, notifications from your phone, and they even have Pixel art games. What? <laughs> Taking a look at the DVOOM app right here, you can either log in through Twitter, Facebook, or I guess register normally. Now that we're inside the app, let's head over to device list right here. It's gonna do a quick Bluetooth search and you're gonna see it's gonna find all three of these, even though they're not really connected yet, but it's found all three of them. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and select the TV Max as that's this one right here. Ooh, the Bluetooth symbol just popped up there. So we are connected to this guy right now. Uh, so let's do some stuff, yeah? How about we do some design? Wow, this is actually in real time. I just, <laughs> can we like undo stuff? Wait, where's the undo button? I found the undo button. Whoa, what is happening? Updating, do not close the application. Everything's just been like paused for me. I like how it's saying that it's actually downloading stuff now. There's like an updating icon that's appeared. <laughs> All right, so the app has finally finished updating itself and we can now in real time draw on this clock so we can color in every single pixel here. This is just one of the many features that this thing offers. So one of them is the ability to draw stuff. Now, it, this can get pretty advanced. There's like a clear roll. There's uh, all sorts of fill ones. So you can just fill the entire thing with like a different color. We can get like a green. Oops, we're pressing the green. Boom, the whole thing is suddenly green. 
Uh, you can move things around that you've drawn. You can draw a circle. So let me get uh, a circle thingy here. So you can draw a circle just like that. We can undo that thingy though. We can draw a square instead. And uh, yeah, there's probably much more stuff that you can get into. So when it comes to making pixel art on these devices right here, it's pretty damn easy. And you can really get quite advanced with like animations and stuff and do whatever you want to do, man. Uh, next up, we have a text editor. So you can kind of like write things and they'll appear on screen. We can write, hello. Some of the volume's been adjusted by that, but um, we are now playing, hello. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that. So yeah, there's that function. There's of course the animation thing, which I won't get into now. Uh, we have voice memos. So if you want to, you can actually uh, just begin recording voice memos just by doing this. So right now it's currently recording a voice memo. And when I release, boom, it's now recording voice memo just by doing this. So right now it's currently recording a voice. Uh, so yeah, it just played back what I recorded there. Pretty cool, right? So if you want to, you can quickly record voice memos using this guy and it'll play it back in real time. We also have chat, apparently. Um, invite another user to start pixel chat. Oh, so I can invite other users, perhaps even you guys, and we can start a chat on this app. That's interesting. <laughs> you can also set up alarms and I've already made one right here for 6 a.m. on every single day. And you can set up a custom message, custom animations and stuff, uh, custom music as well. However, I'm not gonna press on any of these like music soundtracks or whatever, as once again, don't wanna get a copyright strike, but there are a bunch of different sounds and music that you can play. And of course, it'll also display like, you know, a bunch of pixel art that you can select for your alarm too. Um, there is also games. What do you mean there's games? We can play Tetris, nah. How can I play Tetris on, no way you can. I'm playing Tetris on this thing. Okay, well, didn't know that was a feature. Now, not only is there Tetris, there's also Pixel Slot, Pixel Dice, Magic 8 Box, oh, that's cool, and Astro Battle, all on here, that you can kind of control using this thing. That's awesome, man. Anyway, there's also, of course, a stopwatch. Boom, just started the stopwatch, just like that. Also, my phone's doing stuff. We got celebration days, we got countdown meter, set time, or one minute, and well, there'll be an hourglass appearing. Okay, cool. So like a little timer thingy right here. There's also a noise meter, which I actually think is pretty cool. So it displays the sound level it's currently hearing in decibels. So when you go real quiet, it'll go green. Pretty cool, right? So kind of displays the noise level. And of course shows it via like a pixel art thingy on your screen there. There's also a scoreboard feature, which is actually pretty sick. So if you and your friend are doing something, you can both have a scoreboard, pretty cool. And finally, we got notifications as well as weather. Now with the notifications one, you can pair this to a bunch of apps. So your Instagram notifications, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter notifications, incoming phone calls, incoming texts, all that stuff can be displayed via pixel art on your device, which is actually very nice. Moving on though, there's also channel. Like this app honestly is like so extensive. There are so many things to cover. I feel like I would need multiple videos at this point to cover all of this, but you can set up this device to act as like a lighting source. So we can of course turn on whatever color we want. There's like a whole lighting wheel right here. We have cloud channel between different uh, gallery themes, VJ effects. What is this? How about we press on this one? What? What the hell? Oh, like all sorts of like weird effects and stuff can be just like selected on screen. Look at this stuff, man. Damn. As this is currently connected to my phone as well, the visualizer will react straight away whenever music is playing. So I'm currently playing this. Also, when you increase the volume on your phone, it displays the volume icon here, which is pretty sick. And I'm currently playing Duck Face by Code and the audio visualizer is displaying everything in real time. It's pretty cool. And then finally, there's this entire gallery of pixel art that you can choose from. A lot of these appear to be animated like this one right here. How easy is it to just like equip this? So sending data and boom, we now have this potion that was on my phone being displayed on there. Pretty nice. So there's like the gallery we also have expert. So uh -huh, this will kind of download you like multiple gifts at once that they can kind of equip. There's also a bulletin right here as well as me, which is kind of like your profile. And wow, I've got this beautiful creation that I made earlier whilst playing around in the design tool. I can of course equip this as well. So we're gonna have potion, Santa, wave, and then 
that beautiful bit of art right there. <laughs> you can quickly like switch between various different things displayed on your pixel clock by twisting the dial on the side right here. And we, we can choose like the Christmas one. There's also this crazy like effect one now that I actually quite like. We have a visualizer that's like RGB. Uh, there's also this thingy. Oh yeah, the potion Santa thingy that we made. Uh, then we have the time right here. I have no idea why the time is completely... Wait, is it correct now? 8.58. Okay, the time is actually correct now, but for some reason the text is red and I, I don't really know why. Settings. Okay, 24 hour format. Okay, did that. So that enabled straight away. Stop playing music. There is also a play pause button on top right here as well as audio and an alarm button, I think, or a timer button. We can adjust the brightness of the device within the app. Uh, select auto power off so you can never auto power off you can do auto power off in like 30 minutes mine's currently set to six hours which is i'm guessing by default what it does so on channel this is the different channels that you can choose i see what they've done here let me set my time back to being uh the color white there we go that's that looks a bit more normal doesn't it because earlier that that was not set to white and it was set to red but now the time's all good man all of these devices here have like slightly different controls. The TV one I found to be like the easiest one to control as there's kind of like the easiest buttons on here. So we have like this little dial here that we can of course change all the channels with. We can press stuff and then it'll kind of change the way it displays the time. So this device in particular is very nice and quite easy to use in general. The miniature square looking one with a speaker on the back here is also very easy to use. There's a power button on the side there. There's the channel switcher button right here. So we can switch between a bunch of different channels through visualizers and stuff and back to the time one. We can, I think, press and hold that one to do the same type of task as that one, but instead of like pressing the button on there, you have to press and hold it on this one. So all of the controls I've noticed are kind of slightly different between all of these, but I'm gonna get back to the RGB time one right here. So there's that. And then finally we have this display right here, which has the quietest speaker, just a three watt speaker system inside here. So I wouldn't recommend you use this for like music to be honest, but I think it will still make sounds for like notifications and stuff if you pair this to your phone. But this has, I believe just one button. Oh no, this has two buttons on here. The top one being power. And as this one is currently charging via micro USB, if you press the power button whilst it's charging, it will display a battery icon right there for like half a second and then turn off. Uh, if we press and hold this one right here, we can once again adjust the type of clock that's displayed. Now in terms of like pixel art, they all can do the exact same type of stuff. It's just that they come in various different shapes and sizes. So I'm gonna set this back to the clock effect right here. Hell, we can even make this be uh, like an actual proper clock. So uh, how about we do, yeah, a clock like this that you can even hang this thing up on the wall really easily. It does come with a kickstand. So if you want, you can kind of position it like this and you know use the actual included kickstand. If you don't want the kickstand, you can legit mount this onto a wall via like a nail or some tape, you know, however way you want really. The battery life on these devices appears to be pretty damn good. I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, but 2,500 milliamp hours for these two and 10,000 milliamp hour battery inside of this guy, which is probably why this one weighs a lot more. In terms of speakers, this has a six watt speaker, this has a three watt speaker, and I think this one has a 40 watt speaker. And the speaker on the TV Max right here, you know, this big TV looking thing, it's really good, it has a subwoofer built in, and I've been using this speaker as my PC speakers for several days now, and it's been very nice. The bass on here is amazing. Like, there's no real point of me playing music on here and then you guys hearing it for a microphone after it's been processed and stuff, so I'm not gonna play any music, but, but honestly, like, you can take my word, if you buy this device, you are not gonna be disappointed by sound quality. It sounds absolutely amazing. The bass on here is good. The sound in general is loud, very clear. They've genuinely done a very good job with the speaker system inside of the TV Max. This one does also sound pretty damn good, just of course nowhere near as loud and the bass is nowhere near as intense as the TV Max right here. I've been happily using this as like my PC speakers as all I did is I connected it via Bluetooth to the PC and you can do that to your laptop, your phone, you know, it is just Bluetooth 5.0 after all. All of these devices here support Bluetooth 5.0. So if you want to, you can pair these up to your PC and legit use this thing as a speaker. And for music, it's like a portable little wireless speaker. The Bluetooth range isn't the best in my experience. 
uh, it says up to 10 meters and I think that's right about the limit of these devices in terms of like Bluetooth range. Apart from that though, I'm gonna leave links in the description down below for all of these devices right here in case you wanna go pick up any of these amazing pixel art devices for your gaming setup as I do think these look pretty damn nice in gaming setups and as I don't have a pair of speakers for my setup, I've wanted speakers for so long but for now I'm going to be happily using this guy as like my speaker system for the PC here because it does actually sound absolutely amazing. Like I'm happily playing music on this guy 24-7 wherever I go. It's a good device that has very nice control for RGB and stuff and like I like how this is like a normal clock that they include. It's, it's almost as if this device was like made for me and my audience. It's like RGB everywhere, dude. It's sick. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Massive shout out to Davoon for, of course, sponsoring today's video. And I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.